In all honesty, we've been keeping an eye on what President Biden's been eating, and we couldn't help but notice this man is an eating machine. We're talking fast food, ice cream, and lumberjack breakfasts. But don't take our word for it. See for yourself what Joe Biden really eats. My name is Joe Biden, and I love ice cream. It's no secret that Joe Biden is an ice cream enthusiast. You all think I'm kidding, I'm not. I eat more ice cream than the three other people you'd like to be with. Uh, <laughs> all at once. In fact, according to Columbus Monthly, the Biden campaign spent $12,546 on Jenny's Splendid Ice Cream in one year. Of course, not all of that was consumed by Biden alone. It appears the campaign sent quite a few six-packs of Jenny's Pints to campaign backers, and presumably kept some on hand for the enjoyment of campaign staffers. But when you consider that the $12,546 doesn't reflect any ice cream that was in Jenny's, it's pretty clear that Biden's love of ice cream is real. So real, in fact, that Jenny's created an ice cream inspired by Biden's favorite flavor, chocolate chip. And that's not even the first time Biden has had an ice cream created in his honor. Back in 2017, when Biden gave the commencement speech at Cornell University, the Cornell Dairy created the flavor Big Red, White and Biden, according to PBS. Although Joe Biden identifies as an ice cream guy, he seems more than happy to enjoy any number of treats. As Columbus Monthly noted, if it is creamy and frosty and sweet, Joe Biden is all about it. Indeed, he's been known to stop everything just to grab a milkshake, which is precisely what he did after his North Carolina drive and rally, according to Business Insider. And on occasion, he's been seen indulging in frozen custard, as he did in 2012. While on a visit to Winston-Salem in North Carolina to highlight the Obama administration's efforts to bring manufacturing jobs back to America, Joe Biden dug into a double dip of Wolfie's frozen custard, according to the Winston-Salem Journal. But as loyal as Joe Biden is to ice cream and related creamy frozen treats, it would be unfair to the other desserts, not to mention the other sweets Biden partakes in now and then. According to his food diary from his 2012 vice presidential campaign, Biden's desserts of choice have included cookies, rice pudding, peach pie, custard pie, cheesecake, coconut cream pie, and an unidentified strawberry treat, to name just a few. In 2016, Joe Biden told Us Weekly that his favorite meal was pasta, since apparently ice cream isn't a meal. Ice cream is big. Uh, pasta with red sauce, he, he, can, he, he can go deep. On that. Uh -huh. And while our 46th president has been known to chow down on spaghetti with marinara sauce, his flat-out favorite pasta dish is a slightly different variation on the pasta with red sauce theme, angel hair pomodoro. Via the week, Biden's devotion to angel hair pomodoro runs so deep that he has been known to go a bit rock star about it when he's on tour. Which is to say that in the same way that Beyonce demands almonds and oat cakes backstage, Joe Biden demands angel hair pomodoro. And like many a rock star who has their food preferences written into their concert contracts, Biden has his written right into his speaking engagement contracts. The Italian food and beverage industry has great expectations for Joe Biden's presidency, according to ItalianFood.net. They're hopeful the 46th president will usher in a better climate for international trade. Apparently, things have been rough on that front for the past four years, with high duties being placed on food and beverage exports from Italy, according to Ettore Prandini, who's the president of an international trade organization. But there might be another reason being that Joe Biden is a huge fan of Italian food. For one thing, Biden enjoys classic red sauce-style Italian-American food. For another, his wife, Dr. Jill Biden, is very big on Italian cooking, according to Delaware Online. And while Biden alone won't likely make a dent in Italian food sales, the President of the United States is always an influence on the nation's eating habits via Penn State University's news. Given Joe Biden's appreciation for red sauce Italian food, it shouldn't be surprising that his campaign trail tends to include multiple stops for pizza and at least one stop at Ohio's Naples Spaghetti House for their famous chicken parm, according to the Washington Examiner. But thanks to Parade Magazine's interview with his wife, we now understand how that chicken parm might have been particularly comforting to him while on the road. Apparently, one of Dr. Biden's mantras is, food is love. When the Bidens were first married and she became a stepmom, she made sure to provide both security and love. And part of that was through cooking and baking for Hunter and Beau. One of the family's longtime favorite dishes is a version of chicken parmesan that Dr. Biden calls Parmesan Chicken, which she serves with rigatoni and green salad. 
Sure, President Biden eats what can only be called an ungodly amount of junk food via Washington Examiner. However, it's not like he never eats anything healthy. Biden's campaign food diary has him eating salad not once, but three whole times. Granted, one of them was a tuna salad, which may or may not have any vegetables at all. But one can always hope that the deli served that tuna salad to Mr. Biden on a bed of lettuce at the very least. The campaign food diary also reveals that in Virginia, Biden dined on a mini chopped salad with avocado. Then there's the side salad that his wife traditionally serves with her signature Parmesan chicken via Parade magazine and the vegetable soup Joe carried out from Iowa. Nor should we forget about the caprese salad that his speaking engagement contract requires to be served with his angel hair pomodoro and raspberry sorbet via the week. State fairs are, as CNN puts it, paradise for politicians. And it's not just about supporting the agricultural industry or acting folksy with the locals. According to the New York Times, what a politician chooses to eat or not to eat at these shindigs matters. If you find that hard to believe, just Google what politicians eat at state fairs, and you'll find numerous outlets offering an obsessive listing of politicians and their personal state fair foods. And if you dig just a little bit deeper, you'll find an obscure political fact that may have guided Joe Biden's choice to eat fried cheese balls rather than a corn dog at Ohio's Canfield Fair, be a Washington Examiner. Ready? Here goes. According to Eater, no presidential candidate except for Barack Obama has ever politically survived the eating of a corn dog. And apparently, our 46th president was not willing to take any chances in Ohio. Like state fairs, fast food restaurants are big political business, according to Eater, which performed a statistical analysis of which politicians are indirectly benefiting most from fast food profits. As it turns out, no CEO of any major fast food company donated to either Trump or Biden, but fast food employees donate more money to Republicans than to Democrats. It appears that President Biden is not taking it personally. Either that or his love of fast food is just too big for him to quit. Among the fast food joints that Biden enjoys is Dairy Queen, which, according to a tweet by Senator Chris Murphy, represents nothing short of a brilliant political choice. In response to a video Biden tweeted flipping a blizzard upside down, the Connecticut senator tweeted, his recognition of Dairy Queen's greatness is reason enough to make him president. There's also Whataburger, to which Biden gave a shout-out at the Dallas rally when a Texas representative officially endorsed Biden's presidential candidacy in early 2020 via CNN. As the event came to a close, Biden exclaimed, I'm going to Whataburger right now. Although members of the audience thought he might be kidding, he most certainly was not. Along with sliced cheese, ketchup, and eggs, something you'll pretty much always find in Joe Biden's fridge is an ample supply of Diet Coke and Coke Zero, according to the Washington Post. In keeping with the unification theme in President Biden's inauguration address, here's a fun fact. An appreciation for Diet Coke is something that President Biden shares with his predecessor, former President Donald Trump. So deep is Trump's devotion to the diet soft drink that he had a special red button installed on his desk in the Oval Office, which would alert his staff to bring him a Diet Coke stat. This is a very ominous looking because of the red button. What does that get you when well, you press the Well, it gets you a button. Coke or it gets you a Pepsi. As for Biden, however, maybe the devotion doesn't run quite so deep. Just hours after his inauguration, the Diet Coke button is gone. President Joe Biden makes no bones about the fact that he doesn't partake in alcoholic beverages. He's seen the damage that hitting the bottle has done to loved ones, neighbors, and other members of his inner circle, according to Marie Claire. So perhaps we should cut him a break for drinking diet soda, which isn't exactly a health food, or his favorite drink of all, Gatorade. In his 25 Things You Don't Know About Me piece that appeared on Us Magazine the day after his inauguration, Joe Biden said that his favorite drink is orange Gatorade. Unfortunately, while Gatorade is a healthier choice than soda, that's not saying much. A far better choice for hydration would be good old water. Or maybe even milk, which is actually better than water at helping the body to maintain its state of hydration. Or coffee or tea, for that matter. Just a quick skim of Joe Biden's food diary from his 2012 vice presidential campaign, which was published by the Washington Examiner, reveals that the 46th president of the United States is a fan of sandwiches. And by that, we mean all manner of things stuffed between bread, including hot dogs, cheeseburgers, and peanut butter and jelly, not to mention meals consisting of both cheeseburgers and peanut butter and jelly. And like many a fellow American, Mr. Biden is a fan of the sort of sandwich many refer to as a Dagwood. 
For those who don't know, a Dagwood sandwich is a comically tall sandwich constructed of multiple layers of bread, meat, cheese, and condiments. At a campaign stop in Concord, New Hampshire, Biden enjoyed his own Dagwood sandwich courtesy of The Works Cafe. On behalf of foodies everywhere, we wholeheartedly approve. Once upon a time, former Vice President Joe Biden was going head-to-head -head against Senator Kamala Harris in a bid to win the Democratic Party nomination for the 2020 presidential race. And it wasn't going well for Biden in the wake of the first Democratic Party debate. Senator Harris took him to task for remarks he made earlier about his work with segregationist lawmakers, which Harris considered hurtful from a race perspective. So what did the industrious former vice president do? He went to Doolin's on Crenshaw in Los Angeles, donned an apron, and got to work, according to the New York Times. For those who don't know, Doolin's refers to Doolin's Soul Food Kitchen, a black-owned restaurant that's been dishing up some of Los Angeles' favorite soul food since 1975. And while spending a little time in a soul food kitchen was great for rehabilitating Biden's image, we're guessing there was more in it for Biden than mere political currency. And by that, we mean potatoes, eggs, sausage, bacon, and fried chicken, which he told TMZ are some of his favorites. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about politicians' favorite foods are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!